you said, that some love guys, family and his some wife. guys just need direction. You know, yeah, what I, mean? I, I, I don't think I need direction. No, well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it, I do. It adds I, up, it I don't know. Who knows? I don't think I am. I much, I don't think much. Do you guys so, know how much? So, <laughs> so just like no, you? no, not like that. You are okay. okay, okay so okay. one thing about what, us, one thing about one thing about us, one thing about us is like okay. Fuck keep in yeah. mind, we're we're neighbors. First neighbors. of all, we're neighbors, so we joke ar- we joke around. I don't about joke around. <laughs> hey, on that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because one, think, cause one person spoiled it. Because one person spoiled it. Because you didn't do her, your job and 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 and, uh, and announce it like, hey, dude, you can't be doing that. Like I, maybe I don't know I don't know what it is if you have like a doctor excuse whatever it is go talk to HR and send that that gives you an excuse oh, that like him? whack oh fuck <laughs> hey, he, yeah. he, hey, he could do it better <laughs> yeah, he, <probably> <laughs> he hey. could do it better he does everything better so make sure you guys follow the guy that does it better <laughs> <laughs> and you're and you're homeboy as fuck <laughs> why not yeah that's not scared also still on you welcome back. Welcome back and welcome back again to the number one Latino podcast in the world. I'm Memo. I'm Omar. And this is the Why Podcast. Why, bro? Why not? You see what I'm saying? We got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, already, we're already after the 18th episode. <laughs> we got it. Oh, yeah, because diving in. We have a lot of diving people. In. So one of the followers, recent followers, um, she decided to bring a topic up. Okay. What? Go ahead. I thought we were going to talk about something else, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. So we look, we look, how do you call it? I, I can't think of that. I can't fucking say the word, bro. Help me. Wait, wait, okay, wait, the okay, sun. Okay. Sorry. We're going to work on our cussing. When the sun hits you all day, we. Asoleados. Asoleados. Yeah. We we're talking so about that. As- oh, we're going to later. Yeah, later on the podcast. Okay. I'm sorry. So why we are so soleados. So, so, so going please. back to our, our follower that um gave us this topic. um, So she said, can you talk about this? I'm thinking people that are like in management, mm-hmm. she's talking about, she said, hey, what do you guys think of people that have a restroom break before their actual break? So meaning you have your shift, 3 p.m., and you have your first break, break. at 5. So you decide to take your restroom break for 4.50. So that's already five. That's already ten minutes in. So you go to the restroom, take a ten minute restroom right. break, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then you go to your break. Another fifteen minutes. That's already a twenty five minute. Okay. Um, I guess break. Break. Uh-huh. What do you think of that? I don't think there's anything wrong. Okay. Well, okay. The no, 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 no. <clears throat> no, no. Let me tell you. Let me let me put it in a different perspective. Sorry, cut you off. You're the owner of the company, and your company, in order. To hit numbers or thrive or whatever it is, mm-hmm. you have to be productive, right? So, right. everything that entails productivity, it's a plus for you and your facility. Right. Now, any that. downtime you have, it's obviously a negative impact in your productivity. Correct. So, I'm going back to the question again. You obviously, obviously, obviously want the best productivity, right? And now, you're not, you're not down. I guess shaming on taking break, restroom breaks, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. But there's employees that take advantage of that, right? Okay. They take a break before the break. Yeah. So what do you think of that? It's plan comaña. I will tell you that. A huevo. It's plan comaña. A huevo. Do I personally think there's anything wrong with it? Yes. Oh, now you say yes. Okay. Yes. Why? Am I against it? No. no. Because I do that. Lean. I've done that. Okay. Okay. As long as you know you're productive and you're producing, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. So what about if you're slacking? You got those empl- employees that slack. Mm-hmm. Not only they don't produce when they're supposed to produce, but they still take more time than they're supposed to. I get that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and separate this topic in two different categories. <clears throat> One, is there anything in the manual employee handbook that prohibits you from going to the restroom anytime within prior getting to your break? No, there's not. Okay. That's that. As far as being productive, as far as your, your work, what you got to do, that's a separate thing. So, is it wrong? No, I don't think it's wrong, bro. I think people, I think management, and just how we were talking last time, bro, 
management should be. It's gonna be sound fucking cringe, but it shouldn't be. Uh, uh, it should be a motivation. It should be a position where you motivate people to work for you. If you're if you're having a hard time or you're getting mad over stuff like that, you're the one with the problem. Let me tell you why. The the like the supervisor. Yes, that means either you micromanage, you like to have control of people, and that's not good. Okay. That's not good work environment. I understand the 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 company comes first. I understand, and we're talking as a broad perspective. When you narrow, depending whatever area you're at, wh whether it's you know, uh, producing food or or whatever the case might be, then you start narrowing down and like, okay, maybe we could go ahead and, you know what I mean, modify some stuff. But if you're a supervisor or you're a management and you're getting mad because your employee goes to the restroom 10, 20, 30 minutes before their break, you need to check yourself. And you need to you need to find a solution for how to motivate those people to work. Not how to get them in trouble because they're not doing anything. They're following. They're not breaking any 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 employee uh, play handbook, I guess. Yeah, rules. Bro, okay. yeah. So if you have one bad apple, rotten bad apple, that's constantly and this is like a everyday thing. All the performers are performing high. This is one person that is constantly going to the restroom before the break every time, and everybody notices it. But yet. Nobody says anything about it. Okay. So they start noticing that. Like, what? This was not getting dinged for it. I'm going to start doing the same thing. Okay. There goes two people doing the same thing. Then three. Then four. Because it's not a rule, right? Then five. Yeah. Then the whole shift is going 10 minutes before their break to the restroom because apparently to you, there's not, there's not breaking any rules. I understand that. Now, times all that productivity and our productivity times that. No, I, I get what you mean, Lee. It all depends the situation. It all depends where you're at, the type of work that you do. It all depends, Lee. I'm That's why I said, as a broad perspective, but there's anything wrong with that now. If you have the whole department going, going to the restroom, which I doubt there's that many restroom stalls for everybody to go, then you start their break then and there. And that's it. Yeah. There's a solution to every problem. But if you're constantly having... If you're constantly... Having trouble dealing with your employees, you need to look yourself in the mirror and say, "What am I doing wrong for them to retaliate this way?" Yeah, well, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not putting, you're not. How would I say? You are not holding holding people accountable. It's not that way, bro. No, 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 Omar. I'm telling you, if look, if people want to work for you, they wouldn't be doing that shit. Way. I understand, bro. If you're working in an environment where it, it, it um. It entails you to be working hard labor, not working hard labor, but for, for example, Target Amazon. It's rigorous. You're always constantly picking stuff. Right. Orders. Boom, 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 boom. You're, you're like a machine, bro. Yeah. So <clears throat> in that type of environment, bro, you would want to take a break. There's, there's, I heard there's people, in, like, in, for example, Amazon, there's people that, um, that sleep on their post so they won't have to walk to the break and come back. They'd rather use the five minutes to, to chill there and just take a break and, and rest. That's how rigorous it is. So when you're taking these breaks, constant breaks, they'll fight it right away, bro. If you are not being consistent and following the rules, they're gonna they're gonna fire you, bro. But, but what rule are you breaking for them to fire you, bro? There's a consistency as far as picking. There's there's um there's how would I say it? As far as um um orders or um how do you say tra um, traceability, right? So your last scan needs to be <clears throat> Two minutes prior for your break, bro, because it gives you this. That's, an, uh, that's the truth. last scan. It should not be 10 minutes, 15 minutes prior to your break. Your last scan should be two minutes prior to your break, bro. Mm -hmm. That should be your last scan. Why are you not scanning 15 minutes? Like, there's a 15-minute downtime. W what are you doing? I went to a restaurant break, but you had a break in 15, 10 minutes. What, what's going on there? You know what I mean? Okay. I get, a, I get, a, I get what you mean 100%. Okay. But that, like I said, there's a solution to every problem. Okay. Or, or can another, another one I got for you. What about those people that go into their, they're going to the lunch break, they get their stuff, they heat up their food, they heat up their food, and then they, they wash their hands, they go to the restroom, and then they clock out. Yeah. Why? So this is how I see it, bro. I don't think people are going to understand that um, as far as management, unless you're in management, bro. Because as a, as a supervisor, a manager, you're, Job is there is to maintain productivity, bro. 
Yeah, You're supervising. I get, that, I get that. So when somebody's not producing, who, they're not gonna go and tell that. They're not gonna go and talk to the the the, the, the employer. They're gonna come and talk to you. Hey, I, hey, I, I, hey bro, I completely understand okay. that. I get, so I, if, okay, so I completely understand, bro. Okay, like I said, this is so broad. It's that not, you it's have to. It, no, it, it is. Way it is. Why? We will go. We will go so many ways. No, it's not about going so. so it's like if you're talking about certain specific type of work that you do, then you have to narrow it down, because. T- I'm telling okay. you when I say this, bro. when these policies get created, they create it to work and take the most out of the person. Exactly. And you know that. Yes. But there has to be a point where like... That's why there's breaks okay, in between. But there's reper- okay, wait. I get that. But there's also repercussions with that. Like? Are you are you going to keep the employees for so long? Or you know they're going to go and retaliate against you? Like what? In what sense, bro? No, you just said they're going to the restroom, man. That's if the way you're retaliating again. What do you mean a way of retaliating? Like them doing that? Yeah, yeah, because one, did, cause one person spoiled it, because one person spoiled it because you didn't do her, your job, and 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 and, uh, and announce it like, hey, dude, you can't be doing that. Like I, maybe I don't know, I don't know what it is. If you have like a doctor excuse, whatever it is, go talk to HR and send that that gives you an excuse that every day before your break you have to go to your restroom. What if everybody brings your doctor's note? Then we're effed. There you we're go. Effed up. And why? What? Ha- why? What? What led for you for your workers to go ahead and do that? For that one person that did it no, all the time. No, it doesn't. Wait. What do you, you mean, know, bro? Supposed, no, bro. You're creating the situation. Uh, It'd be, I'm telling you, bro. I'm ta- bro, I know you've been a manager. I've been like we've had management positions. I still don't get it, bro. I don't get it's your okay, I don't it's okay, wait. Look, I'm telling you, wait, I get your point of view because you put the company first, wait. No, I it's not that. about the company no, first. No, because it's it is job. Like, it is your job. But if there's production, if production's good, why are you coming? Why would they come down on you? When I mean production, every person is supposed to do a certain thing, right? I get that way. I get certain that. times. I, I completely understand what you mean. So when you got five people doing everything correct except that one person, what gives that one person the right to do that and not the others? What gives that person the right? We're we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and narrow this down because we're gonna spend too much time. We're gonna no, no, at no, the end we that we're time. gonna we agree to disagree. We have time. We're gonna no, I know we have time, but okay, I'm saying then. we're gonna spend too much time on this. We're not gonna understand each other. No, no, no. I we're gonna agree I, to I'm disagree. I'm trying to understand you. If the employer, employee, no, if the employee is not breaking any rules, it's okay. Okay. Now, talking about restroom breaks, bro. You walk in to a restroom. And that shit reeks, bro. You walk into the restroom and that shit smells, bro. It happens, bro. No. Memo, what? I don't bro. I, 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 what I, I, do you want? <sighs> okay, I know. I know What's I the restroom so, for, bro? Restroom, okay. It's not to marinate the mierda, viejo. It's not to fucking let it marinate, fool. If you guys do not know how to go to the restroom, every time you go to the restroom, y un, un, un tronco sale. You flush the toilet, bro. You don't let it marinate, bro. <laughs> Nobody wants to smell that shit, to be honest, bro. That's disgusting, bro. So cada vez que sale el tronco, you flush the toilet. Every time sale un tronco, you flush the toilet. Don't let it sit there and marinate. Nobody wants to smell that. You want to smell that, bro? That's nasty, bro. That's disgusting, bro. Look, bro. Do you take, do you go to the restrooms in your job? Yes, I love the restrooms at my jobs. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking clean, sharp, on point. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah. But have you guys have you guys dealt with that? Wow, somebody me me prende wey que onda like why I get to be mad, bro. Why do you let it marinate? It's like it's or otra cosa. These unwritten rules, bro. When you're in a urinal, bro, there's three urinals. And you go to the first one. Are you going to go to the second right next to him or the third one? Third one, way. Why? Just give the guy his space, bro. Okay. Yeah, this is only real. I do the same thing, this bro. This one of those things was like... I don't know if you guys... Uh, males. When you guys go to a stall, restroom stall, there's three stalls, urinals. You go to the first one. You go to the first one and then... Oh, no. There's a person in the first one. Do you go to the second urinal or the third one? I think the third. I do the third okay, one, bro. Okay, I te va otra. I te va otra. Okay. There's three urinals, th- stuff. How do you call them? Yeah, urinals. urinals. Two are high for adults. <laughs> and the third one, short for kids. 
I always take the kids, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm a sharky. I always choose to take the kids, man. It's fine. Okay. You walk in. Which one do you pick? I he's a small one. You pick the small one, man? It's not for kids, first of all. That's for short kings. <laughs> it's for short kings. No, um, yeah, I think I use that. I mean, in my inst, I think um, the first one we have, the first journal, it's it's a it's a small one, I guess, for my size. Ah, yeah, gusto, viejo. Okay. So, well, I guess. Okay, so let's say uh, I guess, bro. I was gonna say the first one. I guess you go to people go to the first one. I go to the first one. Yeah. Then the second one. Okay. You're between the short one. Okay. And then you're between the middle one. In middle. So right now I'm just like, uh, the short one, you know what I mean? Like, Why? I feel like it's too short, bro. Oh, so you're tall. No, I'm not tall, but no, no, no. If you can't say like you're oh, so you tall. Know what? You know what, wait, no, it's not even that. I actually, I'm, I think they're for kids, wait. I, honest to God, I thought they were for kids. Apparently they're not. Bro. You told me. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, listen. Jesus. I thought they were honestly, I, honestly, I thought they were for kids, wait. Okay. So, I try to not use that one just because if I had, like, you know, if I had a kid or my son, he really needs to go. I don't want to pick them up. And like, you. you know what I mean? I got you. Got so you. It's like out of courtesy for the kids, like go ahead. Okay. You know, personal. What about okay? What about the what about like the the toilet stalls? Do you use the handicap one or you use the other small ones? They got four regular ones and you want the handicap well, big ones. I, back back in the day, I would go to the handicap ones, way. But now, now I'm more mature. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, I be taking the handicaps all day, bro. Bro, why do you need that much space, way? For the I fucking will, smell, no, you just no, run no, 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 no. Wait. I just feel like it's, I don't know, I feel more comfortable. Obviously, if there's like a private one, I'll take the private one all day. But if it's pushed to come to shove, I don't like in the middle. I don't like it, wait. Bro, dude. Those are too small. See, that way, pues, como si no, so. no, bro, dude, they're not that small. Okay, okay, okay. But still, it's not comfortable like the little nice on the handicap one, you know? Okay, this is a bad one. A ver. If you go to, you know, go sit down and do your business. Yeah. Do you go to the man's restroom? Hold up, listen, listen, listen. All right now. Do you go to the men's restroom? <laughs> or do you go to the family? <laughs> oh, no, I go to the men's way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't take the family ones, bro. I, I used to take the family ones. Yeah, it is something fucking private, you know? Like no, no, I don't do that, bro. <laughs> oh, and I've never done that, actually, but I mean, if, if it, no, not even if it was packed, I'll just leave that for family. I, used to, I used to take the family ones. So you were like one of those, huh, bro? It was, there were so many family ones, so I was like, ah, it's cool. Yeah, no, I don't know. If there's one it. family, no, I don't, I don't do it. But if, if there was, like, if there's, like, a lot of family ones, if you guys, Citadel, bro, Citadel has a bunch of family ones. Yeah, 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 for so sure. So it's like, ah, you know? So, okay, going back to your, 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 the kids, you're in a way. Disneyland, te la paso, viejo, because obviously there's kids. In a company, bro? There's kids working in the company or what? What do you mean? You said that the small ones are for kids, right? I thought they were for kids. Okay, I, I mean... I don't know what kid will be working. No, the like, restaurants that have those are like Target, uh, no, Walmart. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about a facility where you work. Grown people work. I've, bro. I've never, I've never seen short ones at work. Ah, uh, yeah, I have. I haven't. Well, it's because where I work, all the restaurants are private. Way. Okay. There's not like we don't go to a restaurant. There's a bunch of guys that are no. It's every single, bro. Every floor, every floor. There's like nine restrooms. Damn, bro. That's a lot of restrooms. Uh, there's, a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of employees <laughs> in each room. Oh, in yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I mean, I'm like, God damn, that's a lot, bro. Pero pues, oh, yes. Yeah, Um, that was one of the topics I had. That's as good. Far as, it, I mean, I feel like it was it was, it was, was kind of, I could relate to that, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So um, what, what other topic do we have out here, bro? I, I have one. I have one that's like, uh, I have two, actually. Oh, yeah? So there's a couple of podcasts that never made it through, right? The... As they got cor- got corrupted, and there's one that really they really wanted me to talk about. I don't know. If I should bring it up here. What do you think? I mean, should I, I try know. to get the other one recovered? No, no, no. What happened? Okay. So, what do you think about sharing income while married? Like, what do you mean sharing income? Like couples sharing income. Like having a an account together? Mm-hmm. Or do you think everybody should kind of like do their own thing? No, well, I mean. What's your perspective on My that? perspective is two incomes is better than one. I get that, but I make more money than him. Okay, so, and you're married. No, we're going to get married, but I, I'm, I make more money than him. And then I don't, don't get married. But I like Don't him. get married. If that's the mentality you're going to have, getting married, don't get married, bro. 
It's not for you. But I don't think it's because I've always been independent. Okay. Then stay independent. Don't get married. But I think I'm ready for marriage. No, you're not. Not ready for love and, and all that. If cute you're ready shit. for marriage, that's one of the things that entails a marriage, bro. It's two entities joining together for to form one. So anything you have is it's hers. It's hers, bro. So do you think it's Vice better versa. that I make more money than him? And bro, that's part of the part of the marriage, bro. There's sometimes you're gonna be having more input, more, 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 more. How is how would I say, Michael? Sometimes you're gonna have to put more in the relationship than the other person, bro. It's gonna happen. It's not always gonna be a hundred, and it's not always gonna be fifty-fifty, bro. That's just part of marriage, bro. Overall, you know what I mean. So the mentality about having, like, oh no, I make more than him. That oh damn, after all that, bro. I'll, I'll put up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think um, if that's the mentality you have, you shouldn't get married, bro. You should have all your income together in one and knock out all your debt together whatever debt you have and we're not we're not financial uh, advisors yeah we're not a financial advisor this is what i do this is what we think this is yeah this, this is one man's opinion i think you should put all your eggs in one basket and divert it to whatever it needs to be diverted to because you're obviously living in one in one income house right wait so i've heard i've seen i've had people that um they're married but I guess the guy, they got the girl. The guy has had a, a different child in the relationship, uh, part of the marriage before they got married. Uh-huh. And that guy, I think, they met the own child support. Mm-hmm. And that girl is like, no, like we're not gonna share income because I'm gonna be paying for that kid. Like I don't want anything to do with that kid. Like, like that's your that's your responsibility. So now. When she buys their kid something, they say like, "Oh, hey, this is um, I bought her some shoes because she didn't need shoes. They were fifty bucks, so you give me twenty five bucks." I'll I'll that away. I'm like, it's like, I mean, I don't know if it worked for her, but she is she's not happy. The pro- the problem there, bro, is like, what do you guys think of that? Do you guys think that's okay to um, do you guys think sharing incomes, or like in a like in a bank or having like having your your uh, uh finances together or separate? But you know what, bro. Some people do think that, and I'm sure they're very successful in a marriage, right? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If to it one its own, to one its own, right? Yeah. Now, this is your point of view. This is my point of view. The story you said is f- again. It's <laughs> messed up. Quack <laughs> quack. <laughs> it's messed up because I feel like who was the girl? The guy? I don't know who was. So the guy had a different, I guess, a different child than the real. So, so the girl should have known that going in. No, no, she knew that, but she also knew. Era bien agarrado ese vato. So, this is, not, like, this is not normal. You guys know your spouse, Vico. You know how they are. Right. So, when they start at first. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The <clears throat> girl knew that the guy was agarrado? Yes. So, every time. What do you mean by that? Like, he didn't want to spend money. And she's okay. And she was okay with it. At first, she was okay with it. No, uh, it can't be. No. It it sh- okay, it shouldn't work like that. Uh, it, it shouldn't, but for them... Because that's how you get to a point where they're like, okay, you know what, it's not working out. Let's yeah. just fucking break up. And that's where they're at. They broke up. N- they're not breaking up, but they're not happy, bro. Like, there's a constant fight. He's always with his friends. Oh, hell okay. no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He's always gone with his friends. He plays, um, I think, um, like flag football <laughs> with his friends. Uh, he's already older. He's an older cat, dude. So he has fun with his friends. He goes to a bar. He, he still thinks out. he can make it in football. I don't know if he does, but he has like, hey, babe, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Or I think he goes golfing too. Like, it's one of those, bro. And she was okay with that at first. Like, yeah, babe, go ahead. It's fine. I go have fun with you. But now, it's not a, hey, babe, so go. Yeah, that's, that's, bro. But sh- she, she knew. Go- now it's an issue. That's so. Now it's an issue because he doesn't put in the effort to take care of their of their kid. And she knew that coming in because she didn't. He didn't put an effort of taking care of his other kid. I'm going to comment on that, and I'm going to say this: If you guys think you guys are going to change somebody by doing certain things so they can change, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. If she thinks by marrying this guy he's going to stop going out with his friends, it doesn't work like that. That's not the way it works. But 
she thought like, no, I think he might, he might, um, he should have matured. Like you're married, you should be mature, more mature now. It doesn't work like that. I'm married. I'm not mature. I, don't, I mean, I don't think. Any, I mean, I don't think everybody has their own flaws, right? But like Omar said, yeah, you can't. You can't expect to change someone if they don't want to change. Yeah. No, so that guy, no, the fact that you expect him without communicating with him, it's already on. Uh, you know what I mean? Omar, but he he should know. Like he should know he has a kid responsibilities. Like he should know that the priority should be our our family. I don't have to tell him that. Why not? Is he a mind reader or what? I would think he's a grown man. That's your problem. You're thinking too much. Oh. That's the problem. Oh, you so need I to stop thinking. thinking. Oh, I need to stop thinking. Yes. So just be an idiot man like you guys. Pretty much. Just oh, do yeah. it. So, yeah. I yeah, understand bro. about that, bro, because right. girls think different than guys, right? Yeah. Now, do you guys think that's okay that the guy is, is prioritizing his his hobbies, his life over that over his family, immediate family. Like it's come to a point where, well, they only I think they only have like a, a boy. I think a boy. And but la la, la muchacha la hace todo. Like obviously the mom is there for the for the kid and there's activities alone like but, a soltera. But the bo- but the, mom, boy, the boys from the out from a separate relationship or the boys from them? No, from them from them. They have a boy. So he has a, a different child. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Different relationship. Okay. But their kid is a, is a, is a boy. And yeah, the mom does Mama Luchona vibe stuff. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm taking my king, my king to to go practice because he loves king. King. Hey, well, his his baby, like you know, like you know how people post like, oh, this is my king, my love, and it's like my love. <laughs> I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't say a name, dude. No, 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 because I don't want to say like a specific name, but it's like like oh my my. His and then like when my mom like like Buchona started taking pictures and saying like oh this is my love my true love my only king and this is son and he has like silver teeth way <laughs> 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 but like he's a badass kid bro bad kid oh my God, but um bro. I don't know, I'm just I don't know if that kid is bad but uh, like that's the vibe she puts like oh she's like my mom Buchona vibes like she like I don't need no man but yeah she complains and like still wants her man to be there but doesn't beg him. It's one of those things, bro. It's cringe. It, when you say, I don't need no man, I think of feminists, bro. And they, they do. It's one of the things. Look, they do I need feel, They I need feel, us. You guys need us. I, I mean, feel, yeah, we you need you too. We need you too. We need you too. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that we see on social media or even with people that trigger us, bro. Who's trigger us? You could probably get triggered with something that. Yeah, you guys gotta understand. Social media, it's a from, bro. I get triggered with feminists. Why? You're fucking trigger, bro. Why? Why? I don't know. It's just oh, okay. God, okay. Damn. First of all, what do you consider a feminist, bro? It's somebody that I, I don't need a man. I got mm-hmm. myself. Yeah. Oh, you, you mean an independent women? Yeah, apparently, yeah. And it's like, shout out to all the independent <laughs> women that put in work. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, because there's some guys yeah, that are trash, yeah. bro. Yeah, I get that. I get that. So I you can't hate, bash no, feminists. No, I I don't bash them for being feminine. No. How does that make sense? I don't bash them for thinking the way they think. I bash I don't like them for thinking for other people okay that's my no, problem I, I don't I, okay so you're saying that the girl preaches like saying i don't mean no man she's just saying hey you girls don't need a man yes so okay we so listen, like yeah i get that i get that, right and i mean if you don't mean no, if you don't need no man that's fine right i know what the outcome is going to be what solteras you know what i mean no, there, there's some guys that are that are very introverts and they like that they like being told what to do. Yeah, I get that. I get that. And I'm again. Some guys work. Some guys work well with direction. Do yes. this. Do that. Do that. That's some it's girls fine. work with direction too. To one, it's own. The problem that I'm that I have is when women, feminists, try to speak for other women, right? And but there's that's and there's women out there that don't want to be spoken for. Mm. Does that make sense? Amen. I'll give an example. Us female, we need to be together and stay together and and work and and go out there and conquer the world and all right now we're gonna go ahead and 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 be number one and <laughs> and we don't need no Leave man to, to buy us stuff and we don't need a man we could support ourselves okay there's women out there that don't like working i was watching these videos bro of, of girls that hate feminists they're like man that girl who who freaking fought for me to work? 
I'm gonna I wanna find her and slap her because I wanna stay home. Yep. I wanna be home. Why doesn't she? That's true. Why, ponte why? Aparte, ponte aparte, ponte aparte. But that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, that's kinda like my thing. Like, oh, bro, like I mean it's cool, you know? Got can to when it's Okay. Gone. So you went on a rant on feminists. What about machistas? What do you think of machistas? Well, like, like them too. Oh <laughs> Hey Omar, I think the girl should stay home and she'll fucking cook for me, bro. I don't think so. I don't I don't think I don't think especially in this So do you consider yourself a machista, bro? Uh if you ask my wife, I think she'll tell you yes. I don't know. There's no fucking way, bro. <laughs> I think so. There's bro. no way, bro. You are not a machista, bro. I I don't know. Who knows? I don't think I am. Yeah, I, am a, I don't think I'm a machista. Do you guys so, think I'm a machista? <laughs> so like, no, yeah? no, not like that you are. Okay. okay, okay so okay. one thing about what, us, one thing about one thing about us, one thing about us is like okay, fuck keep in yeah. mind we're we're neighbors. First we're, of all, we're neighbors, so we joke ar- we joke around I don't about joke it. Around, bro. <laughs> hey, on that, bro. We joke around about it, you know. Like I, I've told my wife if she could cook, cook me. Like, babe, like, are you gonna cook in the morning? What do you mean cut me? What do you mean like, cu- cook? Cook? Like, are you gonna cook for me in the morning? Oh shit! Okay. You know what I mean? Like I've had, but I don't consider my like if she was to be like, oh baby, I'm sick or whatever, I'm lazy. But that's fine. I'll go to so I'll make food. You know. So 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 you have to tell your girl to cook for you. I've asked. Okay. I've never demanded. Oh okay okay okay. Hazme, cos- hazme comida. Or, babe, ¿me puedes hacer comida, por favor? Yeah. Hey, babe, Maybe. ¿no quieres cocinar hoy en la mañana? <laughs> ¿No tienes ganas de cocinar? ¿Sabes qué se me antojaron? ¿Qué pasó? Huevitos con papa, oh, unos burritos. Yeah. Pues hazte los pinches huevones. <laughs> Pero tú no tienes patas y piernas. Digo, patas y manos. But then when she feels like bad, like sick or whatever, yeah, like, yeah. oh, Look, bro. I, I don't consider myself a machista, bro. I'm far from that, bro. I'm far from that. Maybe I'm no, no, I don't Maybe think I'm you, I don't think you are. I think we joke about it, but I don't think you are. Yeah, I don't think I am either, bro. Maybe I'm Mandilon. You know what? Do you think I'm a Mandilon? Do I think you're a Mandilon? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, okay, what, what do you consider Mandilon? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Um, I don't go out because my wife doesn't let me. No, you don't. I have to clean the house. I have okay, to I'm going to tell you what I think. All my right? perspective on you, okay? I don't think you're a Mandilon. All right. But I think you prioritize other, like, you prioritize your wife over anything else. Mandilon. Mandilon, <laughs> you heard it here first. Memo is a f- Mandilon. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you said. That's what it is. Yes. And I'm okay. Happy wife, happy life. I don't think I'm Mandilon. But if you want to be a, if you want to be considered a Mandilon, there's nothing wrong with that. Be there's nothing wrong with being a, I a mean, loving, caring husband. Like you said, that some loves guys, his family and his some wife. guys just need direction. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I don't think I need direction. No, well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it, I do. It adds up. It adds up. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right after. Like, hey, you know, maybe you forgot this. You forgot that. Shout out to all the... Oh, no. You want to give them a shout out. No, you give them a shout out. Your old timers or... What? Because yeah, you like bully me. No second. Bully you what? I don't know. Oh, wait. Know. Uh, I forgot. Yeah. Um, For all the people that think I bully Omar, I don't know if you guys think I do. Apparently, I've been told that I've been... um. Very mean to Omar lately. It's mostly the older people that have. Cause we have a lot of old people in our party. Not old people. <laughs> <laughs> They're hitting. You the, say we're bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you need to like people. write down this script. Um, they were considered seniors. <laughs> Senior citizens. <laughs> well, my sister and all her posse, her, her. Well, it's just one person in particular. Um, they say like, oh my god, I'm so rude to Omar, but they don't know how Omar is, and how Omar could talk smack too. But some of the young people that watch the podcast as well, because we have like a variety of, of a range of people. Yeah. We don't discriminate. But I know people there, and people that are new here, subscribe. don't say subscribe. Thank you for subscribing and watching these videos. But going back to Omar's comment about how saying that I bully him, but I don't think I bully him. But if I do, he it's, it's probably well deserved. <laughs> yeah, it's well deserved. But Omar does, you do it too. You know, like it's a back, it's like a back no, and forth relationship. Do you I feel like I bully you? Me? I don't think I bully you. No, do you think I bully you? I don't think you bully me. Yes. Good answer, bro. I don't think you bully me. I think you sometimes are like not yourself. <laughs> I have an episode. You have an episode <laughs> and you just take it on oh, everybody. Bro. bro. And, then tra- and then like I get attacked. I'm just like, what's going on? I mean, I don't mean to attack nobody. If it comes off that way, I'm sorry. But there's a lot of new people here subscribe. So I thank you for the people that have been subscribing and new people that have been yeah. commenting and stuff. Nobody has been commenting. 
We have Jared from accounting <laughs> commented, bark, 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 bark. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. Like, all bark, no bite. But I'll give a shout out to Jared, the accounting person. So make sure you guys um, follow his page and like the, and everything he has there. So uh, what? who else is commenting? Um, there was a couple of people that commented on previous videos, but other than that. Also, they wanted to do like a, we have a, a surprise coming up. Oh, we have a couple. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, they're yeah. On the, they're on the, we have some, as you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell, but. You see that? We're working on some stuff. We're and we working have on some stuff, man. No, no, no. We're, we're just, we made hats. This is just for <laughs> us right now. There's not fucking working on stuff. No, no, no. We made hats not. that we, we just did them. Um, oh, we didn't talk about why we were quemados. Well, yeah, I, that's okay. So Sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah, so we, I don't know if you guys could tell, I'm usually lighter than this, but. Here we go again, bro. Here we go again, bro. Look, we just went to this um electric. Expo, Electrofy, Electrofy Expo in Long Beach. One of the best expos I've ever came across. And I try to go to a lot of expos, not a lot, but like even small ones. It's all electric. Everything you see, Sick. it's run through with ele electricity. You don't need gas. You don't need yeah. um, the grid. It's pretty much run on power. Everything. Scooters. Scooters, bikes. bikes. Uh, we saw the, the one on the, on the uh, yeah. water. Water. Yeah, remember I told you all the, all the surfboard, surfboard, electric, electric, electric surfboard, the well, skateboards, skateboard. <laughs> um, yeah, you could try. So you pay uh, admissions. I think like twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. And then in there, everything's free. Not free, but you could you could test drive cars. We test yeah. drive a uh, Tesla. We test drive a Tesla. Nice, bro. Um, we, uh, we saw the Rivians. We saw the Ford. We saw the Fisker Oceans. Yeah, all this new technology coming up. Sick, bro. You know, um, it, it was nice. I liked it. I I love going there. This is my second year going. I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's nice, bro. Shout out to the to P fifty one. P fifty one bikes from P fifty one. If you guys ever ever want to sponsor this, with the bike. <laughs> you guys are more than welcome to sponsor us. Bro, okay, first of all, you can't, you, I already told you about that, bro. <laughs> Just for, for a shout out, no, P51. No. P51, they're really, really, I, that, that's my, that's the best bike I've ever, uh, electric road, bike. Electric bike. They're really smooth. The hydraulics? The hydraulics, like when you hit pumps, you don't feel it because of the hydraulics taking out the impact. Yeah. They're fast. They're fast. I think they were, he smooth. said they were going to market at like six. What, 40, 60 miles per hour when you pedal and have that level up. Oh, okay. Full okay. throttle. I mean, they're just very, very cool. If you guys bikes. have not, because I've never known, I didn't get into this until Omar put me on game, right? So he's like, hey, let's go check it out. I don't know anything about electric. I'm not, I'm not like, ignorant when it comes to it. With stuff like that, I get ignorant, bro. Because you're that anchor too, right? <laughs> so, what do you mean anchor too? Dude, you saw that anchor, the the, the power of uh, wah. Yeah, 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 correct. Yeah. So, there's a lot of things that you you would not know unless you go there. They're like, what, what is going on with this? So, going back to that P51, it's a, it's a, it's a run. It's a I guess a family-owned company yeah. that um, yeah. creates their own um, electric bikes, and yeah, they're sick, bro. So I didn't know anything about electric bikes, and I rode one. Not but scale on the vehicle, somebody. And chinga. You if you don't know how to drive, I mean, if you test drive when you gotta be careful, cause you you go full throttle, you go hey, te remanga, viejo. If you're not careful, you will crash. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, we saw so. a couple people crash. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little kid. Bro. Yeah, bro. It's no, somebody it's ran into the red. Yeah, it's because you gotta be careful with the throttle. Yeah. He got he got down the throttle and we just said, "Man, guaya." I mean, just one of the things that you gotta be careful with. But give a shout out to P fifty one. Thank you for your hospitality and um, nice. welcome us really cool. Cool. cool guys that we're talking to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The one, the one, I think. But for and, sure, um, um, I think this is this is it for you. Oh, what? no, it's not. Let me go ahead and give you a game. It's a quick game. Drop oh my god! I'm gonna remember that last game we were talking about the IQ. Yeah. Okay, it's similar. Yeah, okay. I didn't do good last time. It's okay. You probably won't do good in this one. <laughs> Go ahead. Expect, I, don't, I don't expect you to know knowledge like this, but your opinion. All right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and rate who has the most haters. The most haters. Yes. This is based off uh, watch data. So Adam Sandler or Taylor Swift? No, but Taylor Swift. So according to watch data. Taylor Swift has 37 million people that don't like her. <laughs> Adam Sandler, 85 million. Are you serious? Yeah, bro. Why? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, bro. Bro, that's insane. Okay, exactly. dang. Exactly. Okay. Kim Kardashian or Justin Bieber? 
Uh, Kim Kardashian, bro. Okay. Kim Kardashian has 150 million people that don't Bieber? like her. Jeez Louise, Justin bro. Bieber, 160. So what was Kim again? 150. Th- that's, I mean, that's wow. odd, dude. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, the Come last on, one. Bro, that's okay. Chris Brown? Or Kanye West. At this point, I'm going to say Chris Brown, bro. <laughs> Chris Brown has 280 million. That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Well, remember you beat up Rihanna? Oh, my God, bro. We had to be, I didn't talk about that, bro. <laughs> Jeez Louise, bro. Kanye West. So, Chris Brown, 280. 280. Kanye West, 307. Bro. I feel like you changed the answers there when you oh, got bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. It's, it's here, bro. That's crazy, bro. How? I don't know. What do you guys think of that? I would have thought Kim Kardashian was first hated first. Uh-huh. I would have thought Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Why would you hate Taylor Swift, though? Bro, all the damn football players hate him because she put, obviously, you guys don't know, but Taylor Swift put on football in NFL, <laughs> especially the Kansas City's chief. You guys look, are not following. Look, look, I just need you to, I just need you to use your words carefully when it comes to Taylor Swift. No, no, I love Taylor Swift, I'm bro. Not, I'm, I'm, I like Taylor Swift. So I'm thinking she has the most influence, like the most people following her, and obviously the most people hate it as well. When you're big, a big pop star, not everybody's gonna like you, bro. Bro, look, there's government armies. Yeah. And there's Taylor Swift army. Do not mess with that army. That doesn't mean anything, bro. I, I'm just saying, I'm, man. I'm, I don't know. Taylor, I, I think you First got to why, 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 why would Taylor Swift be hated? That's number one. Why would she be because hated? Because she put on the Kansas City Chiefs and she put on the homie, what's it, what's it? Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah. Travis Kelsey. And everybody else got mad because that's not true that he was already <laughs> big before, but I don't know. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't know him. I've seen those videos. Okay. I seen those. Wait, I, you didn't know about him? I didn't know about him until Taylor Swift got with him, bro. Shit, <laughs> I didn't know about Kansas City Chiefs. I didn't know about them until, until Taylor Swift started packing the arenas in Arrowhead. We don't really like to talk about sports because sometimes we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're, we don't know what we're talking about, period. People would like to say, ignorant, but <laughs> um, yeah, we don't talk about sports. But Travis Kelsey is a really, really, really good player. I don't know. Yeah. so I wouldn't know. I don't play football. Well, so well, I, right? I know Taylor, Taylor Swift is an amazing singer, too. So what? Yeah, What's your right. point here? But anyway, guys, if you guys have stayed this far on this podcast, kudos to you. We appreciate you. Yeah. Stay tuned for what's coming up. I know we're gonna like a lot it. of stuff are coming up. A lot of stuff are coming up. So and give us give us your opinion on our hat. We already have a hater. We, made, we actually made yeah I, on your hat on your hat. No, we no. actually on um, both like whack. Oh fuck. <laughs> He, yeah, he, he could do it better. Yeah, he <laughs> he hey. could do it better. He does everything better. So make sure you guys follow that guy that does it better. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for thank you for staying this long. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave a comment. Peace.